Hey what is up guys, Jake here and welcome back to a new video. Now this is the first time in two years that I've ever used this DSLR on my channel because you know I'm just amazing with my spending and I bought a DSLR camera for the specific purpose of using it for videos and I've never used it. And I'm also trying out a very you know makeshift lighting setup right now so it may not look the best but at least it's better than nothing. I'll definitely try and improve on that for future videos. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five tips that have helped me personally grow in my artistic skills. Now keep in mind to take these tips with a grain of salt because they obviously will not apply to everyone out there. But at least I hope that you can gain some knowledge out of at least one or two of these tips that can help you potentially improve in your art. So yeah, let's get started. So the drawing that I'll be working in the background is just a commission that I recently finished and honestly I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. But yeah, now let's get into the 5 art tips that could help you. First one is going to be explore other artists styles. You just pick maybe 5 artists that you really like. Try not to go with artists that have too much disparity in their artistic styles and just look at their work, try to analyze what they do and what you like, and see if maybe there's some things that you could use from those artists. So for example, if you like the way they draw eyes, and maybe you can interpret that in your own style, or maybe if you like the way they draw hands or hair, anything like that, just analyze what you like about those artists. And then, then a second tip is gonna be to copy those artists. And what I mean by that is maybe take an artwork they have made and try your best to copy it as one-to-one -one as you can. Now, obviously you can't post that on social media or, you know, sell it as your own work, but you just wanna use this drawing purely for studying, to try and gain some knowledge from how that artist draws. Because basically in art, all you do is problem solve. So if you can see how one artist solves their problems, maybe you can implement that in your own work. The third tip, and this is the one that helped me the absolute most, is to study fundamentals. Going back to basics. So what I mean by that is, you know, just study what you've always, like, that you've never wanted to study. So things like anatomy, perspective, uh, how you draw materials, things like that. I myself have spent at least two months studying anatomy and it's been a while since I last did it so I'm due to study anatomy again but it definitely helped me level up my game a lot. Even if you're a cartoonist or something of the like, studying anatomy will help you break the rules of anatomy correctly and in turn make your cartoon drawings or whatever else you're creating a thousand times better. The fourth tip would be to draw more often. Now I've never been able to draw, like make a new drawing every single day. That has never been something that I was able to keep up. But recently I've been able to work on the same drawing but over multiple days. So for example, this drawing I did over three days. So in those three days, I didn't create three individual drawings, I just worked on this one, but it still helped me get more mileage in my art. So that way I was able to get more mileage without needing to create a new drawing every single day. I was able to spend as much time as I needed to on the drawing while still being able to improve my skills. The fifth tip is something that I've personally been a victim of early on in my art journey, and that is just to use reference when you draw. I understand this, you know, feeling of, oh, using reference is cheating. I'm an artist, I can draw everything from my imagination, but the truth is, your brain just simplifies or just uses stereotypes of what you know. If you use reference, you'll be able to really go in depth in what you're drawing and to draw it more accurate so you don't have to doubt yourself or, you know, be uncertain of what you're drawing because the information's right in front of you. Because like I said before, art is problem solving and the problem is already solved for you, you just need to recreate it. In this drawing, you saw me use a picture of a jacket, that was what the commissioner wanted was to have that uh, bird on the back of the leather jacket. So I used that to my advantage to just create that uh, the bird on the jacket. And then for the background, he sent me a reference of an alleyway and I used that for the background. It's royalty free, so I'm completely allowed to use it. 
I just did some slight modifications. So really, do not be afraid to use reference. Use reference as often as you can. It will save your life, I promise. And then I'll just throw in an extra tip. This one won't directly improve your art, but it might give you more motivation to draw, and that is to just explore different mediums. If you've watched my channel for the past years, you know that I was mainly a traditional artist. I basically did not touch uh, digital art at all. But since last year, I've basically done digital art exclusively because I found out that I actually really love digital art. It is much easier. It is less trouble, less materials. And overall, I just find more enjoyment in doing digital art than with traditional art. And subsequently, I started drawing more because that I found my love for digital art. So I hope you were able to gain some knowledge out of these tips. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to keep up with my future content, and I will see you guys in the next video.